Probably the worst week in Irish history began on the 28th of June 1922, when Irish men took arms against Irish men. Six months after the Anglo-Irish Treaty was signed, the anti-treaty IRA were occupying Dublin's forecourts and had been there for about two months. On the 22nd of June, Henry Hughes Wilson was murdered by two IRA soldiers in London. This enraged the British authorities and they demanded that Michael Collins and the Irish Free State Army get the anti-treaty IRA out of the forecourts. And Winston Churchill announced that the Anglo-Irish Treaty would be formally violated if they do not do so. Michael Collins was obviously reluctant to attack the forecourts, but he was left with basically no choice. The Free State Army set up opposite the forecourts just across the River Liffey, including two 18-pounder British field guns. At 3.40am, a letter was sent into the forecourts to order the men to evacuate the building. The National Army got no reply, and at 4.10am, the 18-pounder field guns were put to use. And so began 60 hours of Irishmen fighting Irishmen, and the 